What's up viewers? In this video is part of a tutorial series where we learn how to use various libraries and modules in the Python standard library. In this video, you are going to learn how to use the JSON library. If you haven't subscribed already, click the subscribe button below to do so and also enable notifications by clicking the bell button to get notified when new videos are released. With that said, let's get started. So JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation and it is a data format for storing and transporting data. If you have ever built RESTful APIs before, then you know how JSON looks like. It consists of key value pairs. Python provides the JSON library to allow us to pass JSON. We can use it to convert Python objects to JSON, which is known as encoding, and also to convert JSON to Python, also known as decoding. And Python objects like lists and tuples are converted into array and vice versa. Dictionaries are converted into objects, strings also into strings, and integers, floats, and long values are all converted into numbers. Booleans like true and false are converted into true and false respectively. And the non data type in Python is converted into now. Enough of the talking, let's get into coding. Okay, so now let's see how to decode or read JSON data with Python. And the JSON module provides us two ways to do so. First, JSON from a string object, and second, JSON from a file object. We are going to look at both of them. So to start, let's import the JSON library. And first, as I said earlier on, we are going to look at how to decode JSON from a string. So let's get our string data over here. And to decode this into a Python object, we can use the json.load loads with an S, loads function, and pass in the JSON string. And let's assign that to a variable. Now let's print out the type of this variable and see what we get. Let's save and we will run. If only I could type. <laughs> exactly, a dictionary. Since this in JavaScript is actually an object and enclosed by curly braces. And let's print out the value of the name key in the dictionary. We run it again and we get Barry Allen. So we've successfully decoded a JSON string using the JSON library. And that's the first part used uh, from a string object. Now let's look at how to decode JSON from a file object. So I've created this JSON file consisting of a few key value pairs here and I'm going to convert this into a Python object and since it's a JSON array, we are going to get a Python list. We have our JSON imported and now let's open the file with a context provider as F. And to convert this into a Python list, we use the json.load function and we pass in a file object. And note that there's no S appended to the load, it's just .load. And now let's print the type of output first. And let's run the file and we get a list object. And now let's also print out the first element of the output list. And let's verify it here. And this is the dictionary that we get. So this is how to pass or decode a JSON file into a Python object. And now let's look at how we can 
do the opposite, that is encoding Python objects into JSON data. Encoding data with the JSON library is quite simple. If you have a Python object, you can use the json.dams function to encode it into JSON and this accepts a Python object. So let's input the input dictionary and assign it to a variable. Let's first print out the type of this variable. We get a string, meaning this input dictionary has been converted into a JSON string. And let's see how that JSON string looks like. There you go. We get the key value pairs that JSON requires. So that is how to encode a Python object into JSON and output it. But here the Python object or the JSON string rather is stored in memory. What about if you want to store it on the file system? That's when you use the json.dump. So let's look at how to use that next. So we first create a file using a context manager. And let's call this file data to the JSON. And we open it in write mode. Next up, we use a json.dump. Note that there's no S. And first, we pass in the Python object. Then next, we pass in the file object. And let's save and run our script. The json data.toJSON has been created. And inside, we get our serialized or encoded data. And that is what we see here. So, so if we compare the data to the JSON to the data the JSON, we see that this one is much more well formatted than data to the JSON. To fix that, we can pass in an additional keyword argument called indent, and this will pretty print the result. Let's save and run that. And as you see, this has been pretty printed. And I think an index of four spaces has been added to it. So that's how you can also well format your JSON data when you are using the json.dump and the json.dumps functions. Now to recap, json.load decodes a JSON file to a Python object. json.load decodes JSON string to a Python object. And on the other hand, the json.dump encodes Python objects to JSON in memory. And json.dumps encodes Python objects to JSON and stores the output on the file system. So keep that in mind. And this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, share and subscribe for more content from this channel.